Hey Boss Masters, the Risco here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a helicopter. Okay, so, obviously, we can just get right into this thing. And the first step is to draw the shapes of the helicopter. And those shapes must be very simple. Because as you can see in all the tutorials on how to draw whatever, you have to draw shapes. <laughs> Alright, so, the first shape is the biggest shape, you know, oh my god. The first shape is, like, the, the circle shape, you know, the oval shape. that goes like a daze, like an oval shape. Like an oval shape, so, so yeah, that was... That. So after you draw that oval shape, you already know what's coming next. Uh oh, here comes, here comes more than just the oval shape. Here comes this shape, the rectangle shape. I cannot. Here comes the rectangle shape. Shape. So when you do that, that kind of sucks, but you know how it is. I have match favorite by the way here. So oh my god. After you draw the rectangle shape, as you can see, you already know that it's gonna be a helicopter right at this point. So this is like the window right here. Look at that awesome window, you, you know. And then you can draw the thingy next, the propeller fan. I think it's a fan, a very powerful fan at the top. It kind of sucks, but you know, don't even worry about it. So then I think the tail comes next. <laughs> Look at that, it looks amazing so far, doesn't it? Because I am a boss master, and that's that. So then, you wanna draw the door, cause all the helicopters have doors, don't even lie. So, you know, so what's after that? Well, I'm glad you asked because I don't know. Because let me just wing it. Because at this point, I don't know the whole anatomy of, of helicopters. Which is why you need a reference. But since I know everything, you can use me as the reference. So... I'm guessing you should put the logo on that helicopter. I am proud to present the sucky version of my future logo. Yeah, as you as you can see, it's the letter V, it's the letter T, and then the letter V for the Risco. But you know what? I don't have the stuff to do the stuff to the stuff. So then, what you want to do, you you put a dude, let's call him dude, you put a dude into the helicopter, and you put a steering wheel for the dude, for dude, right? So dude's in the helicopter with this fan at the top, and then there's some, like, there's like a, a there's some guys, and they're like right here, and then they have... AK-47 up in here and they're, they're ready to shoot, you know? So they're ready to shoot their AK-47s to the ground because they're just like, hanging out here in the, da in the danger zone. <laughs> so, you know, then like in the background and the back of the thingy it's black. Um, 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 shading, yes, shading. This is the main part, you know. You have to shade all the stuff. You have to shade everywhere, man. Just like last time, just like when we were drawing a house and that guy, we had to shade. I, I, I hope you remember how to shade. And I hope I don't have to tell you how to shade again. So what's after that? Risco, oh, I'm, sh I'm glad you asked. I don't know. 
how do you I'm guessing this is how helicopters look like. So that's so. one type of helicopter. Now let's draw the other type of helicopter. I'm glad you asked. So, just like last time, you draw the shape. We're not done yet. You draw the oval shape. This is this is the most modern type of helicopter we're about to draw right here, right now. So, you have a helicopter, but you, instead of the, this part being like that, it's actually like a dace. So, we can just erase it with our non-existent eraser. Oh, wait, it does exist. So, you can just erase this part with our eraser. Oh, this this doesn't look like a helicopter, the Frisco. Oh, that's because you don't believe. In actuality, this is a helicopter. It is going to be a helicopter, just like last time. What we have to practice right now is something called for uh, shortening. For shortening, and it's 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 like if it's facing towards you like this. Is gonna like look all sh like look at this pencil. If it's like this, it you already know, you can kind of tell how long the pencil is. And if it's like this, same length, you know. Some people don't even know how to foreshorten because it's like super hard. But like as you can see here, the fan is like foreshortened. Next part, window. The window of the helicopter goes like this, and then dude goes in here. And then he's he's not very happy because he's in this basic setting with the basic steering wheel. But sometimes helicopters don't have all this stuff, you know. Then we can just go ahead like this. He's in a dark place. He's in a very dark place. So... Alright, so actually, this is starting to look like something better than a helicopter. As you can see, it's one of those futuristic pods. Man, forget helicopters. This is a futuristic pod. Look at that. Look at that, man. Futuristic pods don't need doors. You just go out of them, you know. So, you know what? We're done. That was easy. Bro. That was the easiest thing ever. Does not look good. Shading. Last part. Actually, we're not done. Last part. Shading is my favorite part. Because we're almost done. Bro. Oh my god. I'm going to patent this like a boss. Master. So. Boom, boom, boom. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Can't wait to upload this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, we gotta put our logo on it, guys. We have to put the logo on the patented machine. It's, it's kind of off, but don't even worry about it. Worry about it, worry about it, worry about it, worry about it. Worry about it. Ugh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's good. It's good. This is our logo, guys. This is our logo with the... It's our logo. Ugh, I hate that word. Boom. Excellent. In fact, let's also put the background, guys. Don't... Because this is going to be so awesome. Put a line here, and put a line here, and here, and we got to make it believable that it's like in some sort of tunnel, 
as you can see, you know that I know what I'm doing. Because what really happens when a person draws is they just, you can just tell that they know exactly what they're trying to draw, what they're trying to patent, what they're trying to future proof. Look at that tunnel. They, they go in the tunnel and done. Are you seeing this, guys? Doesn't that look odd? Look at this a boring helicopter flying through the sky with the clouds. With the clouds. With the clouds. With the clouds. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to draw a helicopter and how to draw a future copter. So, it's been fun. It's it has been fun. It has been fun and we've 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 been through drawing a guy, we've been through drawing a house, we've been through drawing a helicopter, we've been through drawing a future copter and we are going to draw a robot so I will see you guys when I draw a robot